All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Click AI Reality Tour Mumbai, and look who I with me, Boshan Narsinghani, Global Head of Data and Analytics at uh, UPL. Welcome to the Robert Show, Boshan. Thank you, Robert. So it nice is to be here. Yes, so nice to be here. Exactly, we've been seeing such a great show out there, and I'm kind of excited to obviously interview you because I saw you winning an award as well. So congratulations on that first. Thank you for that. Um, also, quickly wanting to learn a little about uh, UPL and what do you do at the organization? What's your role? Sure. Let me give you a brief about UPL. So sure. UPL is the fifth largest agrochemical company in the world mm -hmm. with revenue of close to around $6.2 billion. Nice. Um, it's the number one biosolution provider in the world. Not many people know that. Uh, and it has presence in 140-odd countries manufacturing in 40 plus locations, R&D in, I don't know, 18 plus locations and so on and so forth. So that's mm -hmm. some stats about UPL. Nice. Um, what I do is I take care of the data analytics function uh, right from, uh, you know, whether it's uh, analytics or an advanced analytics use case, uh, delivering it from an end-to-end -end perspective right from starting it at the source level where you get in the data, transform the data, make it ready for a use case, get into the use case, deliver it, and finally also see to it that it gets adopted. So mm. that's my role from an end-to-end -end perspective. Mm, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn, you know, obviously UPL is large. It's like the fifth largest, you said, in the agrochemical. So it's a, it's a lot and has global businesses serving over 150 countries. Uh, so I'm pretty sure a lot of data kind of is consumed there and mm -hmm. a lot of data that you all generate. So what data challenges were you facing before started working with Click? Would you like to share a little about that? Sure. So, you know, uh, we started with Click around 10 years back. Uh, data, uh, you know, during that time, a lot of data was in silos. Mm -hmm. uh, not very organized, not very clean. So we got into first getting the data ready, getting it into shape. And at the same time, we were also looking for a tool, uh, uh, an equivalent of click, you know, which could come and uh, do an enterprise-wide reporting or dashboarding for us. So we were missing that element of an enterprise-wide platform. Mm -hmm. And that is where we got into uh, evaluating multiple platforms and ultimately landed on Click. So we started our journey very small on Click View. Nice. Uh, we, as as we felt the hunger of more licenses, uh, and that is the time Click Sense came into. So we thought it is a good idea to quickly migrate into Click from Click View to Click Sense. Nice. That we were not very big on Click View, so we made that shift quickly, mm. and then. Five, six years down the line, around 21, uh, 2021, we also made the shift towards Click SaaS. So we, nice. were, uh, we were the pioneers in India, I would say, who made uh, the early shift to Click SaaS. Mm, okay, that's pretty so interesting. That's been a good. That's been our journey on you know how we started and what was the journey on Click. And ten years is a long time, I would say, because uh, sticking to a solution is difficult at times and I'm pretty sure you are in the space, you see a lot of newer solutions or shiny solutions kind of coming into the game and there's, you know, obviously a urge or, you know, a, a, a thing to just move on at times, right? But I think with Click, uh, was it also about the innovation because they're constantly innovating yeah, themselves, yeah. so it becomes like an interesting journey where, oh, we don't have to migrate to any other solution, yeah, right? That's a very good question. Uh, how do you, how do you how do you see a platform? Uh, how do you evaluate a platform? Uh, right. I see it a little differently. Mm. I see uh, the innovation index for that particular platform. Nice. Yeah. How is the platform innovating? Mm. Whether it is innovating organically or mm. inorganically. Yeah. Okay. In click, you would see both. Nice. Okay. You've done so many acquisitions at Unity, get, got it into click replicate, talent, got it, made it, it click talent cloud, other features coming in, auto ML, right. uh, click application automation, and so many, uh, uh, you know, click answers, click inside advisor, and the list goes on. So that's what keeps you interested in the platform. Right. Okay? And that is where every time you go in for, uh, 
um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know the licensing cycle, uh, you have to go and evaluate multiple platforms and prove that you are using the right platform. But when you see its innovation index, then you are convinced that no, this is the platform. Mm. Okay. Yeah, no, I think those are fantastic insights and great way to, you know, obviously make sure where what is the best solution for, you know, your enterprise uh, data teams out there. Um, in such a large organization, how important is it uh, that your teams around the world can work in real time? Has that been a challenge and which business functions mostly rely on real time access of data? Definitely, real, real time is an ask, particularly in the manufacturing space. So, right. couple of uh, examples of uh, you know functions which look at real time data is definitely commercial. You have sales and uh, margin related data. Every day you want to know what sales you have done. True. How is it impacting my profitability? Mm. Uh, the other is finance. You know, what is your collection? What is your what versus what is your expense? Uh, you right. Know, accounts receivable versus accounts payable that again is a I would not say a real time but a near real time kind of scenario mm -hmm. because ultimately you get to know about your working capital where you stand. Inventory uh, in the manufacturing space is so critical I mean what what uh, what is the inventory you are carrying on a daily basis uh, and on a monthly basis is very important to track. So, these yep. are particularly two or three functions which are very critical and which need data in the real time or a near real time. That's that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, I'm also curious about you know just talking about today's event itself. Uh, uh, it is all about understanding the reality of putting AI into practice. We've been listening so many different uh, you know tones of how you know we can make AI rea into the reality. How is the analytics team harnessing or experimenting with AI and machine learning at UPL? Any any thoughts? Yeah, yeah, we are evolving in that space. Uh, actually, we started our journey around two to three years back. Nice. Like I said, uh, we made a data, started making a data ready for data ready for AI, mm. um, and that is a different ball game. Okay? Yeah, um, you need to understand the specifics uh, when you get, when you get into machine learning, uh, which is kind of the traditional AI. Um, you need to get the data ready in terms of quality, in terms of trust, True. True. Uh, because without that you won't be able to cater to the use case. Okay, so right. we started our, uh, we started uh, getting the data ready, and that has helped us. We have got into uh, AI use cases uh, on machine learning, and uh, into you know we are servicing multiple functions, uh, commercial, nice, nice. manufacturing, supply chain, R&D. Uh, we have done couple of uh, use cases on the Gen AI front as well. Very cool. Maybe uh, those are, uh, you know, proof of concept stage, but we are going into that space and seeing how Gen AI can help us in our industry. Very important. And uh, you mentioned about, you know, some very important points in terms of data quality, data reliability, and how you all are kind of making the AI you know, getting the data ready for AI, yeah. which is the need of the hour. We've been seeing a lot of enterprises doing it now in the last six to eight months. I talked to a lot of enterprise leaders and they've been like, oh, we got into it, but then we saw a lot of uh, data being messed up. So yeah. we couldn't get to the reality of AI, but there have been companies like y'all, which are now, you know, obviously setting the stage to obviously make AI reality and coming up with a lot of use cases. So, which is fantastic. And thanks for sharing that, uh, Bushin. Quickly moving on to something about the future. So, what is next for UPL in uh, in its partnership with Click uh, and data strategy more broadly? What would you suggest? Again, interesting. Uh, so, we we are thinking about it. Uh, we are uh, uh, we are evaluating what what would be our next step considering the Click ecosystem, right. which is in very interesting space. Right. Uh, so, we are we are doing a lot of analytics on click but we are also now looking if click can help us in the data integration space yeah so we are evaluating click talent nice um, if that would suit us well in the in the data integration space so that mm. is that is uh, on top of our mind as of now but also eventually because we have built a uh, lot of ml models 
personally I would like to put the same data into click auto ML and see how does it, how does the output shape up. Okay. So, yeah. that is on my personal target, but oh, yeah. Nice. So, those are couple of things I would like to try. Love it. And uh, one last question for you, Bhushan. You've shared some amazing insights. Thanks for that. Uh, one last question. I'm pretty sure the audience would would love to reach out to you, learn more about you know the things that you've been doing. Uh, if they want to reach out to you, which is the best place? LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Twitter. Where do you? I think LinkedIn is the best place. I'm okay. always available on LinkedIn. I check it frequently. I reply to all the messages and chats. So That's awesome. Feel free to reach me out on LinkedIn. Awesome. So you know where to reach out to Bhushan. But such a pleasure hosting you today, Bhushan. And yeah. thanks for sharing all the great insights. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining us uh, today. Thank you.